Hello, my friends. Today we are going to learn about cones when we're talking about different types of plants. So last week we learned about structures of plants and we talked specifically about fruits and flowers, but not every plant has a fruit or a flower. Some have cones. So let's go ahead and get started. You need your reading open to page 71 and you need your questions that we're going to answer beforehand opened to page 83. We're going to start with those true or false questions, just like we've done before. Remember that you may not know the answer, and that is okay. You are just getting your brain thinking. So we're going to fill out that before column. Statement one says, a pine cone contains seeds. A pine cone contains seeds. If you think that is true, put true. If you don't, put false. Our second statement says, plants that make cones also make pollen. True or false? Again, you can take a guess. Plants that make cones also make pollen. All right, we should have answered our before column. When we are finished with our lesson, you'll come back and answer the after and the open-ended questions. Let's go ahead and dive in. So we are in our reading on page 71. Follow along with me about cones. Not all plants reproduce using flowers. Remember, reproduce means to make a new one. Some plants, like pine trees and cedar trees, make cones instead of flowers. Here's a picture of a cone. A cone has scales instead of petals. And it is not as colorful as a flower. If you even look over here, here is the cone. These are the scales. They're not petals. And they're brown usually. They're definitely not as colorful as a flower. Like a flower, a cone makes seeds. Oh, there's something that's the same. Some of the cones on the plant make pollen. So there's an answer to one of our questions. The pollen falls into other cones. Then those cones form seeds. Unlike a flower, the cone does not turn into fruit. So when the seeds are ready, this is a picture, the scales will spread apart and allow the seeds to fall out. So here is in the corner is a cone growing. It's not ready. The seeds are not ready to come out. It's still very tight. But once the seeds are ready to come out, then it spreads open and the seeds are able to fall out. Here is some pictures of cones that have opened up on a pine tree. These are some large cones, as you can see here. And here is a picture of a cone. And see this yellow right here? This is actually the pollen cone. So as we talked about, some of the cones make pollen, and here is a pollen cone. It's underneath the top cone here, the seed cone. And just like we learned, flowers attract bees and insects. That's how their pollen is spread. But a cone does not attract bees because it's not as colorful. The pollen from this cone just falls into another one. It doesn't need bees to help spread it. It just uses the wind and gravity to pull the pollen into a new one. So take a moment and think about flowers and cones. They both make seeds. They both help the plant to make a new plant or reproduce. Cones are definitely not as colorful as flowers and therefore they do not attract insects. A cone needs just the pollen to drop from one to the next. Cones are very hard and woody, while flowers are soft and flexible. All right, next time I see you, we will be talking about spores. 